So, we just saw Mortal Kombat. And, um... Does this movie have really bad one-liners? Yeah. Is the story not that important? Yeah. Does... Is this movie gonna win any Oscars? No. Is this movie even considered good by some people? Probably not. But I effing love this movie. I agree. All right. I agree. Welcome to our review of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, there's a deer. <laughs> that's, sorry, that's, there's a that's baby cool. deer that just kind of showed up in front of our car. It's pretty sweet. Actually, a couple. Wait, really? Yeah, I just saw the other one flick its tail. <gasps> oh, yeah, you're right. They're like, oh, my oh, gosh. gosh. That's pretty sweet. All right. Well, now, just as long as they don't get finished by a Mortal Kombat character. <laughs> um... <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Geek to Movies. Uh, we just got out of Mortal Kombat. Uh, we did see it in a Dolby theater. And um, if there's ever a reason to see a movie in Dolby theater, it's this one. Um, the the action is actually really fantastic, and the chairs shake, which was when, amazing. <laughs> especially when like this, there's a scene where Sub Zero like makes ice like into like an ice storm and makes like the ice come down onto cars and like the road and like the way that sound effect like I don't know it just it was shaking and it sounded really cool <laughs> I really just like Sub-Zero's like a lot of the special effects are just like made for like IMAX or even I would say Dolby but probably it sounds great in IMAX too I'm sure mm -hmm. um, but it just like the it really is a movie about action and this is the type of theater you want to see it in um so yeah if you guys have a nearby imax or dolby please go check it out there i'm gonna throw it over to my friend george here he's gonna do he's gonna share his thoughts on the movie because i just did the opening um and then we'll have a little bit more of a discussion so george all right i thought honestly um this is not a spoiler it was in the trailer um it was absolutely amazing when the uh, I'm trying to remember what character he is. He has like the the four arms. Oh yeah, yeah. He he reminded me a character from World of Warcraft. That's what I kept thinking of. If yeah. You saw, if there's a there's a there's a cover for World of Warcraft that came out like in the late to like early two thousands, mid two thousands, and there's like an orc with like four arms. And I thought I literally that's he, all I thought about. He looks like that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, but yeah, he like whenever he was like on the ground mm -hmm. in the Dolby theater oh my gosh like you could feel the like the ground was shaking with every step and you, it just felt like utterly amazing yeah absolutely amazing but yeah this movie um the acting it might not be the best acting it's not the best acting um, <laughs> in fact i'll be it's, i'll it's, be blunt it's, it's not it's, the best acting no but it is absolutely fun as can be there is so much action in this the fight scenes like if you if you love the game this movie is is for you cuz <laughs> cuz there's there's a lot of blood there's a lot of gore if if that doesn't sit well with you, you probably shouldn't watch this movie because that's that's what Mortal Kombat is about. Is if you've played Mortal Kombat the video game, you already know what kind of movie to expect because yes. the video game is really gory and there's a lot of characters that have fatalities and things. There's just, just remembering one fatality that was so funny. Sorry. Um like things like that and if you like the game I'm pretty like I played the game I don't need much from this movie I just need like you were saying like just good visuals special effects with the fight sequences choreography just need to look decent and this looks better than decent the choreography on some of the fight sequences are like ap like the first 10 minutes is one of the best openings I've seen in a very long time the movie does not live up to those 10 minutes, but the ending does. So, like, I would say if you were to buy a ticket, it would be, like, the first 10 minutes and the last, like, 15 minutes or 20 minutes. That's and true. that's, like, 
And like the middle part, it's not bad. It's just a lot of story and a lot of character building. Yeah, they they kind of have to come together, and there's like needs to be like set up for the team dynamic. They gotta understand, um, like as you know, like Mortal Kombat and what it is and why it exists and what it's supposed to do. And I remember some of it. I mean, I remember, I remember the part where they said like heroes from our Earth, our realm, have to fight people from another realm yep. and if our team wins then earth doesn't get destroyed but i don't actually know what happens if we win though can we take over another realm um i believe you need uh, from from the rules of mortal combat i believe you need and this is this is where i think i i thought it was nine consecutive wins at least going off of the the previous the animated movie which was absolutely terrible um, that movie was so bad. I forgot about it. Well, it wasn't that it was terrible. It's just like you know, it was animated. And trying to trying to fit Mortal Kombat into an animated style, at least like a two D animation style, it for for what they showed, it it wasn't graphic enough. I felt like. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because you know, you 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 can only do so much with two D two D animation in regards to like blood and gore. Weirdly enough, both of my complaints for the animated movie and this movie is we still never got the tournament in the movies. We did, actually, in the animated. Did we? Yeah. But yeah, it was the like the very one, last... They were showing, like, different fight sequences that were going on during the tournament. Yeah, but it was just like... It. So, actually, yeah, this movie has no... Literally, like, um, this movie is just, like, That like might be team... spoiler, so... Well, no, because it just we're not really revealing anything besides they're building teams and they have to learn oh, yeah. <laughs> how That's to fight true. to even go into this tournament because I actually like that aspect. Like, they had to learn to understand what they're going into while, like, the 90s yeah. movies, like, you have the tattoo, okay, go fight. And you're just like, <laughs> okay. <"Wait>, what? <laughs> have powers? Like, okay, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? Who's that guy? What is happening right now? Okay, I guess we're fighting. In this movie, it's, like, all just set up. And I loved it. I will buy another ticket if a sequel comes out because I want to see what happens next now. Because Absolutely. yeah, yeah, yeah. And this this movie, yeah, it was it was pretty much a setup movie in regards to like you know you're you're finding out about the characters, you're finding out why they're doing things, and you get some badass fight scenes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one thing I really liked, and I didn't see this coming. Um, was that there, Sub-Zero was like a horror show. That, yes, that was amazing. Because I, I, I would not have expected that. But like literally he, the way he did everything, it was like, like he's each a demon scene, or like a each scene he was scary, in, yeah. yeah, he was, he was basically, was like trying to base, to, to bring terror into like these people. You know, just absolutely terrify them as much as possible. Which totally worked. It did. Because I was even scared. I was like, oh, jeez, this guy. Because <laughs> in Sub-Zero, you're like, oh, he's cool. He has ice powers. Here he's like, oh, God, Sub-Zero, run for your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's one of the things that I actually like about the Godzilla movies. Because, like, the old Godzilla movies is like, oh, it's Godzilla. He's, like, attacking. And there's, like monsters but like in the new Godzilla movies you're like oh you don't want to be near Godzilla or these monsters they are horrifying and terrifying in every yeah. way possible and they it kind of destroy you at a, without a moment's notice you yeah because they're supernatural characters that mm -hmm. are just very otherworldly I guess and they're yeah. not they're not they're not human and humans would not stand a chance against people like this if they were to show up in real life, we would probably all just get murdered really quickly <laughs> by <Yeah>. Sub-Zero. <laughs> this is a bad movie, but it's exactly what I want from this movie. Yes. Like, it delivers my expectations of, like, mm -hmm. I don't need drama. I don't need, like, like real character depth and mythology like Lord of the Rings. I don't need any of that stuff. I literally just need to meet the players and I need to know who's on what team and then they have to show me why I should care about them while they fight each other. Yeah. And, the, and if, it, if it delivers just that alone, like, I'm going to love it. And that's exactly what happened. I love this movie because it totally, like, delivered on the... The choreography is just fantastic. Um, 
I believed every single one of those people when they were fighting, they knew they could fight. Like, yeah. maybe not Jax and so- Sonya as much, but everyone else, I'm like, they're probably black belts or do martial arts or some kind of thing, you know? Yeah. But, like... Honestly, the... um, I One scene that I absolutely love, this is the awesome thing about this movie, is that it, it shows you scenes, like, really awesome scenes in the trailer, and when you see it in the theater, it's just as good. It's not like... It's not like it got burnt out because you saw it in the trailer. The trailer didn't feel like too much of a spoiler. You know what I mean? Oh, you see the same yeah. scenes in the trailer, and you see them in the theater, and you're just still like in awe of it. Because it's so cool. Kano. Kano. Look at this dude. He looks nothing like that in the movie. He looks like that guy. No. <laughs> Well, maybe the beard, you're right. Yeah, with a beard, he, he does, but yeah. Look at the guy. Like, the guy who plays Sub-Zero, he looks like the nicest nerdy dude I've ever seen. He doesn't look anything like I would picture. Like, look yeah. at this dude. Like, he's just, like, so nice. He's absolutely terrifying. Like, here, let me see if I can get you guys to look at his image. The actor does not look terrifying, but the costume and the way he comes off in the movie is horrifying. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Haiku, he's... He he got a little annoying at the end. A little bit. Like I'm like, okay, enough of the jokes, dude. Just stop talking. But he did have his moments. He was still funny. I'm trying to remember who's Haiku. Yeah, it's Kano, not Haiku. Sorry. Oh, I meant Kano. To say. Kano. Like, he was... He got a little too much. There was a little too much. Yeah. At a certain point. But so not had, enough well, to really... It was because almost everything he said was a one-liner. Bruh, yeah, yeah. Now, something I did like in this was a lot of the phrases they said were from the game and I'm just like oh, you know Get like over especially here. especially anything like at the start of a fight mm-hmm. or at the end of a fight mm-hmm. sometimes during a fight and mm-hmm. you're just like oh, oh <laughs> you know it's so cool yeah no I absolutely, I, love absolutely that part. I, I totally agree with that um I also think that the movie had um like a really good like it's not like good family drama but there was like family stakes which I didn't see coming yeah within the context of this movie there were which I didn't see in the previews I just thought it was a bunch of people fighting one another in a combat but like there's some backstory usually in, like, it seems like the only family that you you see in like um in Mortal Kombat is just Sonya Blade and her dad that's like the only like family you know what I mean yeah yeah, so it it was good to introduce that though because then like, I mean I always felt like um, oh, shoot no I can't go into that that's a spoiler never mind. oh <laughs> I was like never I don't mind know. It's, it's it's serious spoiler <laughs> <laughs> I I okay so I would say if you're looking at if you're a dude you're probably a teenager and you grew up playing or a guy in general like me who grew up in the nineties and played the game. And even now, like, I still have played, like, Mortal Kombat 10 was the last game I played um, for PlayStation 4? Or was it Xbox? I can't remember. Um, if you've played the game, if you thought the movies from the 90s, like, the first one at least, the, the second one's terrible. But if you enjoyed the corny, like, and want a little bit more, like, rated R version of that movie from the 90s, you're gonna, you're totally getting your... Like I got, I got, I like, I know exactly what I was paying for, and I knew exactly what I wanted from this movie, and I got it. And if you don't like the video game, and none of like the gore and the battle sequences and the fight stuff doesn't look or sound interesting to you, you probably shouldn't watch this movie because it's not gonna get any better. <laughs> In fact, you might probably just hate it. But for me, I'm a huge fan of like this game and this mythology and this series, so it was great. I agree. Yeah. Um, it's basically, if, if the game is something you're into, then this movie's for you. (laughs) If you don't really like some of the aspects or most of the aspects of the game, then you probably won't like the movie because it's not like it has phenomenal acting, but it's, it's focused on what's important to the people who like the game. So... Yeah, and I and I think the thing that I really um, appreciated the most was it tried to stick to those characters, um, their costumes, 
what each character did in the game. It actually was very authentic, which was really shocking. Mm-hmm. It they didn't try to change. They just changed a little bit here and there. Nothing crazy, but they really did stick to the story and mythology of the video game itself and were able to do it enough justice where I wasn't like annoyed they took too much like to make a different movie that's not kind of based off a video game. Um, so I say if you are like me, Golden Popcorn. Like go see it. Like 10 out of 10. It's not a great movie but you're gonna love it if you're like me and George and you'll probably really enjoy it. And yeah. um, wh- what's your rating? Um, I would I would say uh, probably on this one I would go a 8 out of 10. But 10 out of 10 if you're into the game. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's an 8 out of 10 <laughs> because it's so focused on, like, um, the game itself. Yeah. That, like, you know, it's like other people might not like it so much. They probably won't like it so much. <laughs> know your audience. Like, but, if you, yeah. If this, it, is, this is yeah. very audience-orientated. The people that this movie was made for were the people who wanted this movie. Yeah. So... <laughs> And 100%, I wanted this movie. I agree, I've been yes. waiting a long, long time for this movie. We were actually. hoping that animated movie would, would kind of I'm so glad that's somewhat sucked, good. Because yeah. I'd rather have the live action I would, suck. Yes. <laughs> yes, I agree. All right, guys. We're gonna and jump. I want a sequel. <laughs> I think we're going to get it at this point. Because, it. I mean, like, our theater was packed. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, there were quite a few people there. Yeah. I, there aren't many people normally going to the movies except to see Demon Slayer apparently so <laughs> funny enough Demon Slayer Mortal Kombat are kind of had some similar weird like similarities going on mm-hmm. which I was like this is kind of weird like both are kind of dealing with demons the mythology of like Asia you know things like I don't know I just thought it was funny anyways we're gonna jump into our spoilers um so if you don't care about spoilers and you don't want to watch this movie but you want to hear us talk welcome if you want to see this movie please come back after you've seen it and join us into our spoiler discussion so this is your warning um they killed my favorite character and i'm still upset about it like i i the more i was like and and it's so funny because <laughs> yeah. when we got out of the movie i was like that's my favorite character what's his name again i don't remember it but he was the hat guy i can't remember either yeah his fatality against that like banshee woman that was, was awesome i was dying like if there the was hat, <laughs> If there was one difference, I would say it should have been that his hat should have been completely flat. Hmm. Well, I mean, not completely flat. You know, it still had the dome. Mm-hmm. But, like, if they wanted to do it exactly to the game, yeah. it should have had a flat rim. Yeah. Because that that would have made a bit more sense in regards to the fact that it was a slicing tool, which it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I agree. But, you know, honestly, like, he did, they did he, enough. And him just... True. He kept tripping what's his face, the Australian dude. Like over <laughs> and over. I was laughing so hard because he just It's like I bet you can't do that again. I mean No no up. no, that was the other that was the other character. The the um I'm trying to remember the The one with the laser beam. Who's that? Well that wasn't the guy who was tripping him though. Really? It was remember it was the guy he took his shirt off. He was tripping him. The fire guy? The fire guy, yeah. Oh. He was the guy okay. who kept tripping him. But Interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> He's like, Do you know any other moves? That was so funny. <laughs> He's like, and then he did like a fake swipe and he jumped. <laughs> and then he's like, Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> he no, got no. Him again. Yeah, do you remember what he said to him? Because I think you were laughing too hard. He said, Do you know so. any other moves? He's like, I do, but I I don't need to use him because you're so awful. <laughs> Or something like I don't remember but he said something like I do know other moves but I just don't need to use them because you're just stupid he just kept the whole movie the, he, he just kept calling him stupid or a moron and an idiot not smart yeah. not very intelligent not wise um, like and everything he was saying you're just like yeah he's there's, nobody can disagree <laughs> so with true. you <laughs> yeah. um, so true. even what he did at the end like when he betrayed the entire like, Earth realm. <laughs> yeah, you're like you really are a moron, like the yeah. biggest moron. I did. I'm. I'm glad. Like Sonya was the one to get him, and the gremlins. That was perfect. The gremlins' little hand that he spit on. That was oh so my god! Perfect. I'm like that. I that did not so see. Perfect. I did not see that setup Garden coming. Gnome. The best line though in the movie, I think, was um, <laughs> was the line when they first meet the fire, um, the fire guy. Scorpion? No, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when they first meet the fire guy, he puts his hand, 
He puts his hand on um his shoulder. His shoulder, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "This is what is it? This is not where we're supposed to be." Or something like, "Follow me to the temple." Or I I don't remember exactly what he said, uh-huh. but like he put his hand on the guy's shoulder. <laughs> that was a good one liner. Yeah, I I really. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I, the opening is actually heartbreaking. That I was like, I can't believe I'm, I might tear up at this, but this opening is horrifyingly sad yeah. and bad. And then like the whole time, I'm like, just hoping he comes back and just like rips Sub Zero into a new one, and he mm-hmm. did. And I was like, literally the best like mo- parts so of this movie is the first ten minutes and the last like 15, 20 minutes, whatever it was, where he comes back and like. Tries to save um, Cole's family, who's his great 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 grandson. That <laughs> was so epic. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The the Alice Wonder Road happened if like a like if you're like at a diner, just like you know minding your own business, like everybody's just eating food, and then like a hor like a horrible like demon or something just shows up, and like I, I don't know it I needed Sub Zero. <laughs> and it was Sub Zero, but like it's a it was. He walks up. His entrance is like he's walking down the road towards Cole because Cole has the tattoo where he's been chosen and he just like makes ice into the air and then just like crashes it into cars and buildings and glass. It was... Everything with Sub-Zero was way better than I thought it was going to be. And you could see... (laughs) The wild thing too is you could see how much power he had gotten since his first fight with um scorpion yeah scorpion yeah which that was that was absolutely amazing but they both got stronger and stronger over time oh yeah because scorpion was no <laughs> he, he was, was he came for he came for revenge oh and yeah he was gonna deliver on that promise because the first thing that he says right so before cool he dies is like blade. remember this face because i'm coming for you and i was yep. just like he wasn't lying um yeah. but the, the, uh, but the other thing that was kind of weird was like Nobody died. Everyone is just kind of like gonna come back. They said. That yeah, that's what like it made de- it sound like. Because they're like hell and death is just another realm, and mm-hmm. I'm just gonna have a stronger team. So that means the hat guy comes back too, then, right? I'm guessing since he's bringing his so, bad yeah. guys back, they can probably get that dude back. I'm sure. Well, no, because his soul got sucked up by um. That was how he died. Was his soul got taken by the, the was it the emperor or whatever? So he's not, he can't come back then. Um, not until they defeat the that guy. I believe. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe you're right. The mom's like, get in the truck, and then she turns on the truck and drives straight at into. <laughs> I was like, what are you straight doing? Straight into that guy. Do you see that thing? It has <laughs> four arms, and it just doesn't make any sense. This is this is above like stupidity. <laughs> I mean, I literally. My thought was that basically by the time they were they had turned the truck on, he would have been there and lifted it up. That would have made a bit more sense, I think. Ooh. Anything better than what that scene was would have been better. <laughs> like, he's walking up to the truck, and then, like, Cole gets up, and he has the new, like, whatever powers and the armor. That was awesome. That was awesome, but, oh like... Oh, my gosh, that was so cool. But, like, he, he didn't... He didn't go... Like, they didn't do that. They just... he Like, the whole point was... Her driving the truck into him. Okay, if you're gonna do that, why are you telling your daughter you would? Okay, this is okay. That I, I just realized the issue with this. You tell your daughter to run, and then you sacrifice yourself by driving the truck into him, hoping it will get him. While your daughter gets enough time to run away and get to safety. That would make sense, yeah. But telling her to get in the car and then driving into the guy is just so dumb. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's the let's kill us both while we're at it. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that uh, was bad. But, but yeah, and then, but yeah, the movie was a lot of fun though. <laughs> the hat just like rips her apart like in half. Oh my god, that was crazy too. And um, that was that was so awesome. I was like, I was so happy when he said flawless, yeah. and I'm just like, oh, oh my god. I mean, to be fair, it was a flawless death. That yes, thing, that thing that was. Made. It did not even scratch him. <laughs> It was so perfect. Well, I think um, uh, I think we talked about all we could really say about this movie at this point. 
either you liked it or you did it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let us know your thoughts and what you think of our review, and we'll catch you guys. I'm next excited time. about Mr. Hollywood. <laughs> oh, Johnny Cage. Yeah. I was. Yeah, that's the I'm main like, reason I want the. Uh, a I want a sequel is because I'm like, oh, I need to see this. My main reason for a sequel is so they can actually show the, the tournament. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Yeah. So you can actually see more than just two realms fighting each other. It would have been. It would have been nicer if they were just kind of like okay, like Mortal Kombat prequel or something like that. Like they mm -hmm. actually set it up that way. Because when you just say Mortal Kombat, I'm just expecting the tournament. I'm not expecting. Well, maybe like a the setup. next one will be called Mortal Kombat: The Tournament. That would be cool. <laughs> I guess, but either way, it just it didn't. They didn't have any of the tournament. The tournament wasn't even ready to go yet. They were just no. setting up teams and training, which made. Actually, I did enjoy that. I just wish they would have named it a little bit better. Maybe they were like, "No, we can't do that because people might not come if they think there's no Mortal Kombat. Just call it Mortal Kombat so we can get everybody's money." All I could say is I absolutely love that flaming dragon. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That oh, I forgot. That finishing move was so epic. I kid you not. The special effects were way better than it had they any right amazing. to be. They were amazing. Except for the orc guy with the forearms. His, that effect was terrible. But other than that, everything else was good. Yeah. 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 I still, I still like that scene though, where like his hair's like flailing in the wind as he's got like all four arms out, and he's like, you know, coming. Oh to yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, that scene was that that part was good. <laughs> You're not wrong. All right, guys, take care. Bye. Bye.